Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Steve. And as usual, Charles Barkley is 100% correct for saying this. Kyrie Irving is a complete moron for wanting to leave LeBron James. I mean, he's a complete idiot. Complete idiot. And I 100% agree. Now, I also can see why Kyrie wants to uh, leave LeBron because Kyrie wants to be the man. But logically, it, you got to be smart. And this is why I agree 100% with Charles Barkley. There's two things here. Now, I've said this before. There's a difference between a player that you want to build around to win a championship and then it's just a player that can dominate. For example, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Kawhi Leonard. Those are the only players as of right now, maybe James Harden and, and Russell Westbrook. Those are the only players right now. I don't care about age and their prime, out of their prime. We're talking about right now. Those are the only players that... Any logical GM would say we have to build around him to win a championship. And even some of those are questionable. Really, it's just LeBron, KD, and Steph. Uh, excuse me. LeBron, KD, Steph, and Kawhi. Okay? James Harden, maybe. Uh, uh, Russell Westbrook, maybe. But LeBron, KD, Steph, and, and Kawhi, most definitely. Now, everyone else, no. We would not build around them to win an NBA championship. It's not even close. And it goes back to this huge ego. People thinking that they're something that they're not, okay? I'm sorry, Kyrie. You're a great player, great scorer. Hell, you made the NBA. Millions of people that wanted to make the NBA did it. You're at the top of the league. You're one of the league's greatest players, but you're not elite. Elite is LeBron, KD, Steph, Kawhi, James, and Russ. Those are the only elite players at this point in time. There's another player. I'm not gonna say his name because I'm not this I don't want drama in this video. Because every time I say his name, there's drama in the comments. Those are the only elite players in the league right now, right? And then you have Kyrie say, you know, I wanna leave LeBron. I don't want to play with him anymore. I don't want to be Robin. Well, last time I checked, when you were by yourself. You didn't even make the playoffs. And I don't want to hear this. Oh, well, you know, he was young. I don't want to hear that nonsense. When Carmelo Anthony, eh, he might be the player that I wanted to talk about, but I don't want to talk about. But when Melo got drafted to the Denver Nuggets, they won 25 more games and they made the playoffs every year. When D. Wade got drafted to the Miami Heat, they made the playoffs. And guess what? In his third year, he won finals MVP and won a championship for the Miami Heat, averaging 35, 8, and 5. Ridiculous numbers. Best statistics ever. For someone that young, 22 years old, in the NBA Finals. That's a superstar. Melo was a superstar. LeBron is a superstar. Okay, you want to talk about modern day players in terms of who you want to build around. I mean, come on. Kyrie Irving. Look, you're great. You're great, but you're not on the level of LeBron. You're not. It's simple. And the proof is in the pudding. When LeBron doesn't play right now, the last two, three seasons, when he doesn't play, the Cavs don't win. So what does that say about you and Kevin Love? Come on, Kyrie. You have one of the best rosters in the league. And when you when the greatest player of all time sits down, <laughs> which shows why he is the greatest player of all time, because even with a great roster, they can't win without him. When the greatest player of all time sits down, you can't even you can't even win a game. You know what that reminds me of? Mellow with the Knicks. Let me let, let, let me tell you something right now. Kyrie's not on the level of LeBron. Kyrie's not on the level of KD. Kyrie's not on the level of Stephen Curry. Kyrie's not on the level of Kawhi Leonard. Kyrie Irving is not even on the level of James Harden or Russell Westbrook. He's not. It's simple. He's not on that level. Hell, I would even say Chris Paul is still better than Kyrie Irving. And Chris Paul has been in the league for 13 seasons. Oh, man. Look. Charles Barkley, man, this is why I love Charles Barkley. He's straight up honest. He don't give a damn, just like me. And uh, we get some flack for it, but it doesn't matter. Look, Kyrie Irving, why would you not want to stay with LeBron? Staying with LeBron guarantees you at least three more final appearances, which would mean you would go to six straight NBA finals. How many players can say they've gone to six straight NBA finals? Guess what? Michael Jordan can't say that. Larry Bird can't say that. Magic Johnson can't say that. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar can't say that. Tim Duncan can't even say that. But you want to know who can say that? Bill Russell and LeBron James. And that's it. Let me repeat that. Bill Russell and LeBron James. Six straight final appearances. You got to be kidding me.
Are you going to turn that down because you want to be the alpha male when you're not an alpha? Kyrie, come on, Kyrie. And if you think about it logically, yes, they're building around LeBron James. Who wouldn't? Who? Who? If it were LeBron with Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry all on the same team, they're building around LeBron. If it were LeBron and KD, they're building around LeBron. If it were LeBron and Melo, they're building around LeBron. In Miami, when D Wade was in his prime, he was only in his prime for one year when they were all together, and Chris Bosch was in his prime. They built around LeBron. And let me give you the averages, the previous season, 2009-2010 season for Chris Bosch and Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade averaged 30 points per game, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. Chris Bosch averaged 24 points per game, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks, 1 steal, 50% from the field, 33% from 3, and 81% from the free throw line. We're talking about two of the league's best players. But they built around LeBron James. They built around LeBron. So do you think they're going to take you? And build around you when they have LeBron? When they wouldn't even do that for Dwayne Wade or Chris Bosh? Are you serious? You're not even on the level of them. You're great. What she do in the finals is incredible. But you can't carry a team. You cannot. Look, maybe one day you can, but right now you can't. Because it's proof in the pudding. When LeBron don't play, y'all lose. And it's not even that. So, you had the potential to go to six straight finals. Okay? But it's not, even, it's not just that. When LeBron goes out of his prime... And maybe two, three years from now, he's still going to average around 20. He ain't going to be averaging 35 in the finals or a triple-double in the finals. Who knows? This guy might still be in his prime in 10 years. It's ridiculous. But when LeBron declines in his prime, will be the same time period where you peak in yours. Which means you'll still have the greatest of all player out of his prime on your team. You'll be the number one. He'll be the number two. And you'll still have Kevin Love. And you're going to sit there and tell me you're going to pass that down? Are you? Dude. Oh, my gosh. That makes no sense. It makes no sense. Logically, it makes no sense. Okay? Kyrie, your best bet was to stay with Cleveland. This is what Kyrie wants. He wants to play with Jimmy Butler. He saw Jimmy Butler get traded to the Timberwolves. Oh, my gosh. Because they're best friends. So he's like, oh, my gosh. I got to go team up with my boy. Because they're best friends. I've said this before. Go look at the Olympics again. But it, that doesn't even matter. The point is, is that Charles Barkley was 100% correct. Saying Kyrie Irving is dumb. For wanting to be traded from the Cavaliers. It's really stupid. It honestly is ridiculous. Do you think if Russell Westbrook were in your position, he'd want to get traded? Russell Westbrook was behind Kevin Durant. He didn't care. Yeah, he hindered his stats. He only averaged like 23, 8 and 8, whatever. He didn't care because he knew the opportunity to win was there. Okay? Now that KD left him, look at it. Now, I know people are going to say, well, Kyrie wants to leave because, well, well, LeBron, he's not guaranteed. Look, LeBron is not going anywhere. He's never leaving the Cleveland Cavaliers again. It's not going to happen. Get that out of your head. I guarantee you guys right now. And you can take my word for it because I don't say a lot of things that are wrong. I speak from the heart and what I say is true. LeBron James will never leave the Cleveland Cavaliers. It ain't going to happen. It's not even close to happening. And stop thinking about it. He ain't going to the Rockets. The Rockets don't even have the cap to be able to trade and get Carmelo Anthony. So how the hell are they gonna they gonna sign a, a max player wanting thirty five million dollars? How the hell is that gonna happen? And then when Melo has a killer season, which he will, <laughs> cause he's Melo, and he averages like twenty eight. How are they gonna have money to give Melo thirty million dollars? Are you kidding me? It ain't gonna happen. Melo staying with the Knicks, unfortunately. LeBron staying with the Cleveland Cavaliers, positively. And guess what? Chris Paul and James Harden are going to do their thing. Kawhi Leonard's going to do his thing. Uh, 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 Russell Westbrook and Paul George are going to do his thing. Excuse me. You know what I mean. Do their thing. Uh, uh, Stephen Curry, Katie, come on. <laughs> Unstoppable. Look. Kyrie Irving. I, I, I can see why you want to leave. You want to be what Kobe was. But what he has to understand is he's not Kobe. And I've said this before, and I'll probably make another video on this. There's a difference between the elite players and the all-star caliber players. See, Gordon Hayward understood his role. 
he didn't want to go uh, sign on to a team that was garbage to be the number one man because that was him in Utah, and he was doing really good in Utah. They were the fourth seed, I believe, right? But he understood his role. Kyrie Irving, like LeVar Ball would say, would say, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Because this right here is incredibly ridiculous. Kyrie, you're not an elite player. You're an all-star player, and you're really good in the finals. But you're not on the same level as the elite. 